Last weekend, I got to play the Splatoon Test Fire demo. If you don't know what Splatoon is, it's basically a third-person shooter where you're going around inking the ground with your ink. The game is basically you're half kid, half squid, and that's the primary basis of the game. And uh, Nintendo actually released their Test Fire demo again so you can try the game out if you didn't own the game and that just happened last weekend so I did get to try the game now in the demo they actually had four different classes you could use and two different maps and you can pick either a boy inkling or a girl inkling inkling and overall I had fun with the demo to be honest the two stages they had in the actual test fire were kind of similar obviously because this game is kind of like inking the ground so a lot of the stages look like paintball stages so they look kind of the same in terms of like style and look of course they're different obviously but you always get that same feeling so no matter how many uh stages they probably put in the actual retail game you're still getting the same stages or at least they look the same and overall i had really fun with the game each match was three minutes long and uh the only mode they let you play in the demo was this mode called Test Fire. Test Fire is essentially a game mode where you're supposed to see which team can ink the most ground and it would calculate whoever's team had the most ink on the ground would win. And I have to say, that game mode was pretty, pretty fun. Really fun. Besides shooting the ground, you can also shoot other people and actually kill them, of course. And then you also got, besides the gun, each class had their own special ability. The one that I was using was called a splatter, uh, something junior, a splat, something splat gun junior. I can't remember what the name was. I apologize. You may know what the name is, but I don't remember what the name was. But essentially what its special ability was, a bubble shield so that when someone came up to you, if you had it ready, you can actually uh, protect yourself from other enemies shooting at you. The way you earn, earn abilities in, uh, Splatoon or unlock your special ability for each classes. When you go around uh, inking the ground, you actually uh, fill up this meter on the side, and once you ink enough ground, then the meter actually fills up, and you can use your special ability. And that was my uh, favorite ability because I just thought that was so useful. And one cool thing about the bubble bubbler on the Splatter Junior, whatever it's called, you can actually a activate the bubble shield. But if you're near uh, ally then it'll actually give them your bubble shield so you can both run around with bubble shields and I think the special abilities only last maybe uh, four or five seconds at the most you can't use them for a long time but you can use them now is this game a buy if you're a person that likes Call of Duty Halo essentially what Splatoon is it's a Nintendo's version of a Call of Duty or a Halo type game is this a recommendation? Honestly, I'm not 100% sure if you should buy the game because I do not own the game. I just played the demo. Now, I usually only buy a couple of games a year, maybe one game at $60 and then maybe two other games used at like a game store. But other than that, I'm not quite sure if this is a buy until I actually try the game. And you do have to remember if you are a Wii U owner, owner and you're watching this video, uh, Mario Maker is around the corner, so you do have Mario Maker coming out in the near future. Or if you're already watching this video in the future, Mario Maker would already be out. So it's a tough buy. But look at it this way. There's not a lot of the uh, AAA games from Nintendo coming out on Wii U. I think you got uh, Splatoon that just came out. You also have Super Mario Maker. You have Yoshi's Woolly World and Star Fox Assault or Star Fox Zero or something like that. Those are the big uh, AAA games coming out from Nintendo this year. And you do have to remember that Nintendo did announce the NX. And we do not know what the NX console will be in the future. So would you buy a Wii U just for Splatoon? Mm, it's really hard to say. I probably wouldn't buy a Wii U just for Splatoon. It is a fresh different take on a shooting game. I will give them credit for trying something new instead of your conventional uh, Call of Duties, your Halos, your things like that. I will admit they did try something new. Overall, am I going to pick up Splatoon? It's really hard to tell since Super Mario Maker is coming out, but I'm really looking into it. The time I had the game, I did not put it down one time. That tells you a lot that I really enjoyed the game. It is really fun, but they will have to have new modes in the game for me to keep playing because it will get repetitive just playing Turf Wars. That's the only mode you can play, play played in the demo. Now I do know that they just released an August update for Splatoon which was supposed to add more gear, more weapons, and new modes and new stages. So if that's not impelling, 
I don't know what is. And to sweeten up the deal, Nintendo actually announced that they're going to keep uh, releasing content for Splatoon at least until October or November. Somewhere around there, that's when they're going to cut support for it and stop releasing content for the game. So you should have enough content for the game. But in my opinion, I'm just not sure if it's worth $60 at the moment. I'll let you guys know if I do purchase it sometime in the future. But either that, those are just some of my thoughts on the new game Splatoon. And so far, peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out. Thank you.